Hi everybody, welcome back to Bearded Reef, my name's Ross and in this video it's the 18 month update of Little Waterbox Peninsula Mini 15 gallon. Okay, hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Like I just said there, my name's Ross, this is Bearded Reef and this right here is my Little Waterbox Peninsula Mini 15 gallon. Now, I've had the tank set up now for 18 months, so a year and a half. I thought I'd just do a little update for you guys to show you guys how the tank's doing and what's going on with it. So, first things first, I just wanted to address the fact, you know, I've had quite a few people saying, when are you going to be transferring the stock from this tank over to the new one? That's not the plan. This tank is going to remain as it is. The tank's going to keep running. I'm not shutting this tank down at all and moving things over to the new one. This tank is going to remain and I'll run both tanks at the same time. So, I just wanted to clear that up anyway. So, I know a lot of people have thought, how can you break that down? How are you going to do it? This tank is staying as is. So I'm going to run the Peninsula Mini 15 gallon and the 60.2 both at the same time. So yeah, where are we with this tank? Um, it's been a little while since I've done a video on that. I think the last video I've done was when I said the nutrients were high, I was going to run with it for a while. So I have done that since, I haven't reduced the nutrients, I've kept them as they are and I've ran with that. So probably the best thing for me to do is actually just jump in and show you the little water test results that I've done. So I've got a little clip of that, I've done them just previous to this video, so I'll pop a little clip in here, show you that and we'll just give you a quick run through of where we're at. Okay, so as you can see on the left, my alkalinity is sitting at 7.6, um, the phosphate in the middle is just counting down just now, so my phosphate is 0 0.76 and my nitrate is 26.1. So yeah, they're, they're all really high numbers there, but it works, that's, that's what my tank runs at and that's what seems to work for me, so I'm sticking with it. Okay, so that's the water test results and hopefully you guys will agree the tank's looking pretty good now to be honest with you. I know those numbers are mega high but they're stable, everything seems to be okay, corals are growing well so I'm happy with that. It's been a long time that I've run these elevated nutrients for and it seems to be working. So yeah, that's the first thing. Um, second thing, a couple of new corals in the tank, probably more than a couple actually since the last time we spoke but have added some new ones in. Um, They've all came from Nessie's Lair, so a massive shout out to Nessie's Lair again, thank you for them. Yeah, there's not been a massive amount else happened other than that, to be honest with you. Um, I will drop a little clip in in a minute just of the tank to let you see it, and I'll run through all the corals and so on that I've added new. But there hasn't been a great deal happening. Um, you know, I, I kind of hummed and hawed for a while as to whether I was going to reduce the nutrients and try and keep it running lower. But to be honest with you, all I'm doing is my weekly water change, replace the filter floss a couple of times a week and and that is it i don't i don't do much else on this tank it's it's very kind of self-sufficient now it runs itself um i'm not going to stop doing the weekly water changes because i don't dose i don't have a skim or anything like that so i'm just going to keep doing them for all it is you know it's a 10 litre water change every week it doesn't take long to do so yeah that's um that's really it to be honest livestock's all doing well and um, the clowns are hosting the duncan now so that's quite a cool thing to see but yeah that's um that's pretty much it for the tank so I think what I'll do, I'll drop a little clip in here and I'll just run through new corals and corals that I've got and so on with you and let you see what the tank looks like now. Okay, so let's take a look at the tank then. Um, first of all, apologies, I'm using the new camera still um, and I don't have a lens that fits this, so I've just had to hold my lens over this. So hopefully it doesn't look too bad um, and hopefully the colours aren't too bad either. So we'll just take a quick look at what's new to this, I suppose. I'll give you a quick run through. So. Some new zoas here that I got from Nessie's Lair. Um, I don't know what they are, just the red ones. And as you can see, some of the existing zoas are growing really well now, actually, to be honest with you. Lots and lots of growth in the tank. Um, everything seems to be doing really good, to be honest with you. I'm not quite sure why with all the elevated levels, but all seems to be doing good. The torches are doing good. Um, Duncan at the back there, the clowns are now hosting that Duncan, so that's quite cool to see. As you can see here, these orange oxide zoas at the back, they've grown really, really well. Grew over the front. Um, little Acan down there is doing good that I got from Hoggy. Blasto's still doing really good. Um, the little plate coral starting to grow a bit bigger now too. GSP's doing well there. And I have actually got some GSP up on the wall. But as you can see, the urchin dislodged the bottom of it, so it's flapping about in the current just now. But hopefully it does alright and it'll keep growing. But yeah, as you can see here, the uh, the clowns are actually hosting the Duncan, so that's quite cool to watch. Um, see if they go in just now, but yeah, they're doing, everything seems to be doing quite well to be honest with you. I'm really happy with it, so can't really complain. 
I have got some new um, frog spawns up here in the rack as well. Get that to focus there. And the little jack-o'-lantern that I got from Mogsy a while back, still got that there, it's doing really well, so yeah, um, everything seems to be doing pretty good to be honest with you, so that's kind of overview. I do have some new um, gonies at the back there, got the little red one and the kind of greeny coloured ones, so yeah, everything's doing pretty good to be honest with you. I think the tank looks really good. Um, Obviously with the high nutrient levels I was a bit kind of sceptical, but that's been a long time now. And as you can see, everything's doing well, everything seems to be doing okay. So I don't really want to lower it. Um, you know, I could go chasing numbers, but I'm kind of reluctant to do that. So I think I'll just keep it as it is. And we'll see how we get on with that. Okay, so that is how the tank's looking just now. Um, it might be no surprise to those of you that follow the channel for a while, but it's, it is doing well, it's doing okay. Um, I have no real issues, to be honest, or any concerns. It's just, it's running, it's doing what it should be doing, so I'm happy, I'm gonna leave this to run. I'm gonna try and not add too much more to it. Um, I might add a couple of filler pieces in where there's some little blank bits of rock and so on, but yeah, I'm gonna let this one just kind of mature and, and grow out a bit. Um, my focus obviously will be on the new tank, but I don't want to lose touch of this tank. I want to keep things going with this and, you know, stick with it, do my weekly water changes and, and really see it grow. So, yeah, that's the plan anyway. Um, so I just thought I'd do this little video to let you guys see that, see where we're at. And hopefully you agree that it's, it's looking okay. So yeah, don't, don't get hung up on, on numbers. I get, I get a lot of messages actually from people asking, what should my parameters be? You know, my parameters are this, how do I reduce them? And, you know, I had somebody the other day worrying because the phosphate was at 0 0.1. As you can see, mine's is up quite a bit. So, you know, I, I just think don't worry about numbers, don't chase numbers. If you can get it stable and it's doing okay, stick with that. Your tank, your corals and so on will tell you if it's unhappy. Just stick with it. Don't, um, don't try and change things, don't chase numbers and so on. That's the key thing, I think, with this. So, yeah, I appreciate this is quite a short video this week. Um, but I just wanted to throw it out there, let you guys see the tank, let you see where we're at clear up anything that you know people thinking that I'm moving everything over I'm not staying the same and yeah we'll just let the, the 60.2 beside me we'll let it continue to mature after the, the quick cycle we've done there um, we've had a couple of tester corals in and see how we got on with that and that's really it folks there's not a great deal to report on this week um, that's pretty much it so once again a massive thank you for all the support I mean it's it's unbelievable the support I get from you guys um, cannot thank you enough for that so massive thank you to everyone of you guys don't forget if you have any comments questions concerns anything at all put them down in the comment section below i'll respond to every one of them give the video a little thumbs up if you want or a thumbs down if you don't like it either way i'm happy with either and yeah um hit the subscribe button that's really all the formalities that i've got so you can also check out my instagram which is at bearded.reef i post up try and post up daily on there anyway um and yeah that's that's pretty much it so Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you're staying safe out there. Take care, folks. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.